In the name of the king is the 2007 Uva Bull Epic, where he finally gave the world what it's always wanted. Lord of the Rings, but really shitty, and with Ray Liotta's character from Goodfellas, who's also an evil wizard. People claim it's the worst movie they have ever seen, but is it really? Yes. Oh God, yes. Ah. It's complete dog sh**. I'm going to be fair though and list the positives. Oh. Jason Statham. Ah. Now the negatives. Literally everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Statham's character is a farmer who goes by the name Farmer. What did they call him before he was a farmer? They used to call him boy. He has a son who's a whiny little sh**. Chicken again. And a wife who's just terrible. I make them pay more because I'm a woman. <laughs> the movie starts out strong with Statham unleashing an ungodly amount of spin kicks. <laughs> on a group of Ninja Turtles. While this is happening, Statham's son is killed and his wife is taken prisoner. If the movie had ended there, it would be heralded as an all-time masterpiece. Unfortunately, it somehow still drags on for another two hours. <gasps> Burt Reynolds is the king who goes by King, but Statham gives zero shits and tells him to get fucked. You dare defy your king's wishes. Then the king's Magus, who they call Magus, goes to talk to Statham and he tells him to get fucked. Does it occur to you there may be events of greater importance? Nah, it doesn't occur to me. Ray Liotta plays the main villain and he somehow eclipses Tara Reid. They have kind of used constellations to pinpoint a geographical location. In giving the worst performance in an Uva Bull movie. I'm beyond good and bad. These are childish ideas. Where would I stop if I showed your friends mercy? He's working with the king's nephew, the Duke, who goes by Duke, to try and take over the kingdom. You must put your little plan into action. You Together, they poison the king. Your majesty. But the king ends up being just fine. They'll find it's not so easy to kill a king. Which makes that whole thing completely pointless. While trying to rescue Statham's wife, they get caught by these tree women and have to fight them to the death. Wait, no. They let them go. And this was also completely fucking pointless. The three stooges continue to embarrass themselves and are again captured. Statham himself is knocked unconscious. Worried that this shit might actually be making sense. Don't worry, it never does. There are some things you can't take back. We get the most nonsensical scene of all time. Leota decides instead of killing Statham, he's going to get some answers out of him instead. Mm. The only problem is that when he's asking questions, he's actively hanging him. You, I can't see past your scowl. Why is that? How the f is he supposed to answer your questions if he can't even breathe, you goddamn moron? Who are you? He's just a farmer, you jackass. He doesn't know he's the king's son yet. Then to top it off, Leota suddenly stops caring. Some riddles aren't worth solving. And then basically gives his sword to Statham, whose hands are tied behind his back. He then kills him and cuts himself down. How can anyone take a villain seriously after that show? So Leota says, F this, 
I don't want to be here anyways. I dare you to fire me. And wears a black leather jacket that really doesn't fit in for the rest of the movie. <laughs> Magus then reveals that Statham is the king's son. He is your son. 30 years ago, Magus told the king that his three-year-old son had been killed in a massacre, which is really f***ed up. Sometimes the gods know what is best for us. But somehow, the king isn't even bothered by this. You better be sure. So now the duke's plan is to just tell everyone that the king is dead and he's in charge. Fight today. In the name of your king, fight for me. He takes a group of soldiers to join up with the turtles. Meet your new allies. These are crud. And plan to attack their own castle. Tomorrow you will burn Castle M. Somehow they go along with this and everyone is shocked when it turns out the king is still alive and doesn't want to attack his own home. You will never be king. Not now. Not ever. So the Duke goes ahead with his plan using just the evil turtles, and we get the weirdest battle you will ever see that includes ninjas whose black outfits really blend in with the trees, giant slingshots that insult your intelligence, and turtles lighting themselves on fire before catapulting themselves into trees. We at least get to see Statham murdering the f out of everything that moves. And this really awkward exchange. Fight like dogs. Yes, sir. The battle goes on for what feels like forever but nothing important happens until the end when the Duke fires an arrow into the King's chest before escaping. Statham runs across the turtle's heads in a believable and realistic way. And then the tree women turn into Spider-Man. and capture the Duke. Making his escape in the first place just another thing that was completely pointless. Now we see the turtle stronghold and holy sh how did they not get sued for this? The only thing that makes any sense is you can't get sued for copyright infringement if nobody sees your fucking movie. Anyways, instead of killing the Duke for all that treason he did, the commander challenges him to a duel. While they're dueling, some jackass yells out, The king is dead! The king is dead! King Conrad is dead! I am your king! Wait, how is he the king? Long live! The king! He just attacked the kingdom and murdered the old king. Hip hip bizarre. Luckily, Magus is there to tell everyone. Our beloved King Conrad passed away. Murdered by his nephew. How did nobody know that? He did it in front of everybody. Even if they didn't see it, they all knew he led the attack, so he's responsible anyways, you fucking idiots. <laughs> this movie's starting to piss me off, so let's just move on. So, Statham's the king now, which is somehow just a tiny detail that is never mentioned again. Stand up. So. They decide this is one of those movies where if you kill the main villain, his entire army will immediately die or f off somewhere or something. It's very poorly explained. If he kills Galleon, the kingdom is saved. 
Statham and Magus are going to sneak in through the back and decide to bring along the two most worthless people they have. First is Magus' daughter that Magus doesn't want joining them. Yes, what do you really want now, now? Go back to the castle. And one of the tree ladies who would be a huge help in the forest, but useless inside a mountain, which happens to be where they're going. So whatever, they continue to do smart things and enter one at a time. The Magus goes first, which gives us this incredible fight scene where he and Leota just stand there. Finally realizing what a terrible turn his career has taken since the actual Lord of the Rings, no. he dies of humiliation. Oh, could I have been so stupid? Then Statham, in the worst CGI you will ever see, literally just flings himself into the side of the mountain. Somehow, he manages to grab onto something, but goddamn, that's the dumbest plan I have ever seen. Now it's her turn. Apparently, she can teleport too. So why the fuck were you just standing there? She can't do anything, so she leaves, and everyone wonders why the f she was there in the first place. So, while they explained that sneaking in was the only way to win, where the broadsword fails, the dagger may succeed. They still attack with their army anyways. Why? Because that's what happened in Lord of the Rings. And Uva Ball is a total hack. I'm just ready! He makes it nighttime and raining, just like in the two towers. Even though on literally the other side of the mountain, it is sunny and clear. Whatever. So the prisoners in the mountain are rebelling. But who f***ing cares? Statham shows up and has a sword fight against Leota. Who uses his magic and traps Statham in books. I've never actually seen the Harry Potter movies, but I still feel like this was stolen from that. Even if it wasn't, it still was. So his wife stabs him through the back and Statham slits his throat, which makes all the turtles instantly turn around and leave, making the entire battle outside and the rebellion inside, just like everything else in the movie, completely f***ing pointless. Countless lives would have been saved if they just did nothing instead. So how does Statham do as the new king? We'll never know because the credits just immediately start rolling. If you don't believe that In the Name of the King is the worst movie ever made, then you make my <laughs> jiggle. 